Ryan is Best Geek here, and we've got all the uh, inductors in except for one, and that one would be T2. Now, T2, I covered winding in another video, which I will link below. And that is the Trifiler T40 dash, uh, or T, T30, oh gosh, where did it go? Uh, <laughs> T37 dash 43, I believe. And I pre-wound that, it is this guy right here. So I know that all these windings match each other. And so these all go install right here. So what I'm gonna be doing tonight, today is in this video, is um, taking off these, there we go, and then installing these in pairs on the board. So now that I've got this pair in, oops, I don't wanna mess up the pairs any, at all. So um, I'm putting this pair in, and then grab the tweezers and I'm holding this, I'll install this pair. Actually, I think this one will be easier to do first since it's for the back. Not difficult, but definitely fiddly. There we go. Got that one in. And oh, need to get some dangle on that. There we go. And in. And then we can do the last one, or the, the last set, which is gonna be here. around and pull that one through. That one did not go in enough. That one's got too much solder on it, so I'm gonna clip it. And shove that through, give it a pull. There we go. So now I've got all of them in. And that's why DVM saying, I'm shutting down because you haven't talked to me lately. And pull these through reasonably. Give me a pretty good pull here. There we go. Now we'll get the other side. So what I could do here if I really wanted to is um, unwind this just a little bit more. And I'm kind of tempted to do that because I don't like, well, I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna leave it. Actually, I don't like how close these are together, so I'm going to very carefully pull out this one, route it underneath. And shove it back in. And give it a pull. Come on now. There we go. And if I really want to, I could do the same with this one. So I'm going to, because I do really want to. This one, just give it a pull. If 
I'm pulling them one at a time. I never lose track of which is which. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. I like that better. Okay. And then just uh, I'm going to go ahead and triple check continuity, make sure I didn't screw anything up um, on these. Wake up my continuity tester here. All right. I didn't mess, mess up any of the uh, assignments here. So now I know that all six of those, those other sets of two across. So A, B, and C, or C, B, and A, or one, two, and three, or whatever you want to call it. Now it's time to just solder them in. And I'm going to do, I want, to, I want it fairly tight up against. So I'm going to do my tweezers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a couple of these kind of tight. so that it's tied up against the PCB. And then I'm gonna solder the middle ones and then the other ones won't need to be held. Instructions do say to cut these to two millimeter and then solder them. You'll notice I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just soldering them and then cutting them, uh, which has been working for me. So if you wish to deviate from the instructions like I do, great. If not, you know, just Proceed at your own risk, is what I'm trying to say. Mm, it's just not wanting to tint. Now, I do have to be really careful. We're right next to a bunch of really small parts. There we go. So got that, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the others out straight. I don't want them up against the PCB on the bottom like that. So I just give it a little tug. And I can go ahead and clip the middle ones. Appears to be good. Hopefully it is. And yeah, unfortunately, if you apply too much solder, it kind of goes over to the other side of the PCB, which is messy. Doesn't hurt anything though. So let's go ahead and clip these. And yeah, I see this one didn't get clipped, don't worry. All right, now we've got to test the continuity according to the, uh, let's see, accordingly. So the instructions say continuity between, let me make sure it's, yeah, all right, between these two. Oops. And between these two. Yep, we got continuity. All right, uh, I think that's it for those. Yes, the next thing is the LED. And once the LED is in, we're looking at connectors. And once the connector's in, we're looking at a capacitor, inductors, and then the enclosure. So we're getting awfully darn close to getting this thing finished. So keep following along. I sure do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next, uh, the, the uh, next video.